Hello guys, it's me, Gucci Devs, and this is a highly requested video about pixel perfection. You've probably seen it in most of my games, where there is this really Game Boy pixely low resolution look, and I'm gonna show you how to achieve this. So the way we're gonna achieve this is by having a dual camera setup where the first camera, the main camera, is viewing the actual scene where it sends this data to a render texture which basically scales what the main camera sees down to really low resolution and after that we'll create a quad and put this render texture on the quad and make the second camera view this and that is gonna be what the player sees the downscaled version of the game which looks really pixely and has this pixel perfection look so Let's get started and do this. Okay, so first off, we have to choose a aspect ratio and resolution. Um, so we go to this website right here. In this case, I'm gonna choose a 16 by 9 resolution. Um, this is the most common one. Um, you can also choose whatever else you think, like 4 by 3. Um, but I choose this one and we're gonna use this really low resolution right here 128 by 72 So just I can remember this hopefully and when we've chosen this we'll have to make sure that the Aspect ratio down here is set to whatever you chose and you can also change it in the project settings on the player and make sure uh, Where is it? Let me see let me see must be here. Supported aspect, aspect ratios. The supported aspect ratio is going to be the one that you chose, which is going to be 16 by 9 or 4 by 3 or 5 by 4 or whatever you chose. And make sure it is over here. And now we can move on to doing the actual thing. So on the main camera, we'll have to make sure that the projection is set to orthographic and the size is set to half of the height of your resolution that shows so that's going to be 72 divided by 2 which is going to be 36 and after that we'll have to duplicate it so control D to duplicate and then name this virtual camera and drag it under the main camera so it's going to be parented and after that we'll have to set the clipping plane right here to zero the near clipping plane because uh, if we don't do that it won't be able to see the quad which is going to be right on top okay so after that we'll have to create another layer or oh, not another layer but add a layer right here and call it virtual stream because we want the virtual camera to only be able to see this plane that we're going to create afterwards so make sure the calling mask is set to virtual screen and nothing else there we go and also make sure the main camera actually views everything right there okay so let's continue on and next we're gonna create the actual quad so right click the virtual camera right here 3d objects and quad and remove all this we don't need this shit. Um, uh, we don't need to cast shadows force no motion no we not gonna use probes so now we got our quad right here and we're gonna set the size of this quad well, we're just quickly going to rename it to virtual screen there and also set the layer to a virtual screen uh, okay so let's set the size to be the resolution that we chose before which is 128 in my case by 72 and you can see it fills up the screen right there um, so just a quick thing to point out the size right here is the distance between the middle and the top of the view uh, it has to be the half of the actual height because else it will be too big of course 
So now when we have created the virtual screen quad, um, we'll create the actual we create the actual render texture that's going to be applied on this quad. So we're going to do this by going over to a folder. In my case, I have a virtual screen folder right here and create a render texture and call this virtual virtual screen render texture and you can call it whatever you want again but make sure you set the size to be you know the size you chose and set the filter mode to point that is really important because else everything is going to be blurry and after that we will create a material and we'll call this material uh, <laughs> virtual Render texture, render material. Damn, that's a long name. Please call it something shorter. Okay, so let's set the actual shader to texture and unlit because we're not going to need any lightning on the plane because that'll look stupid. Uh, <laughs> set it to texture and drag over the render texture. There we go. So now nothing is actually being rendered to the render texture. What the hell? Um, never mind. So we'll make the main camera render something to it. So drag it over to the target texture right here. And let's apply the material over here. And now you can see we got a white screen and not a plain, a black plane. So that's good. Now let's create an so now let's create an object, a cube for example, and let's make sure that it is in front of the camera, right there, and let's scale it up to something like 36, no, 50 by 50, and let's rotate it 45 degrees and position it at 0, 0. So now you can see we've got a fantastic pixely noise cube right here. So that's really nice. And something I have to point out is you're probably going to use sprites. So you have to make sure the pixels per unit is one because one unit now is one pixel on the screen. So that's pretty cool, but you'll have to remember this because else it looked messed up. And make sure the filter mode is set to point when you're using sprites. So let's see how this looks. We've got a big sprite here, and you can see as we rotate it, it also gets skewed, not skewed, but you know, pixely. And that is exactly the effect we want. So after that, we will want to add some physics, of course. But the physics are going to be extremely slow. I'm just going to quickly show you here. Rigid body. Add some physics to this guy right here. There we go. And also to the cube. Uh, another box collider. We need a box 2D collider, else it won't work. Okay. So let's see. You can see it is falling extremely slowly. Uh, one way to fix this is to increase the gravity scale right here, but it'll be really inconvenient if you have to do it on every single rigid body in your scene. So we're going to do it directly in the Physics 2D settings right here under Edit, Tragic Settings, and Physics 2D. And then you can see the gravity scale or the gravity right here, the gravity force which is minus 9.82 or something. I don't know what it is in your case. So we're just going to multiply this by maybe, I don't know, 20. And that is going to make this object fall 20 times faster. And that looks much smoother. Uh, just make sure it matches the the scale and everything so it looks great and doesn't fall slowly and you know just adjust it to your own liking and 
Now, one last thing we can do is make sure that we can't click this all the time. For example, if we want to click on an object in here, it'll first select the virtual screen quad and then we'll have to double it. And that is really annoying. So we'll go over to the layers right here and down to virtual screen and lock it. Now we can't choose the layer. Now we can choose the object underneath it, which is convenient. And that is it. That is everything, I suppose. Just check over here. Yeah. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to leave a like if it helps you. And follow me on Twitter. And have a great day. Goodbye. Oh, 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 oh,